Hi guys, my name's Sophie and I'm a 29 year old living in Sydney. Last year I completed 75 hard and it may sound corny but it was a real turning point in my life. So much of my life was spent dreaming about being skinny and how that would make me fulfilled. Spoiler, it doesn't. <laughs> and after a bit of time my mindset luckily shifted. I wanted to be healthy, I wanted to be energised and I wanted to be active. 75 hard was the first time I committed to losing weight in a healthy way and actually followed through with it. I learned to trust myself, fall in love with the process and even got into running. What? Something I never believed I could do. I will never forget when my year 12 PE teacher on the day announced that today's class will be a run. As a 90 plus kilo girl at the time, I was petrified and off we went and as expected, I was well behind the pack. I mean well behind as in one of the fit boys had to run back to give me motivation to keep going. It was a very humiliating experience. <laughs> but definitely also sweet at the same time, because I've clearly never forgotten it. Anyway, we've gone way off topic here. But overall, 75 hard really taught me to trust in my body and see how amazing the body is at adapting. We really can achieve anything if we stick to it and be consistent. And that feeling of achieving that is so good. Following 75 hard, I even ran a half marathon. Again, something I never thought was possible until I completed 75 hard. My brain began to trust that my body could do it and the excuses then stopped. During my half marathon, the whole time I was running, I had younger Sophie in my head and I knew she was proud. It was really a strange, yet proud and also oddly spiritual experience. So basically 75 hard was the catalyst for change for me. Last year was more than just a shift in mindset, it was a shift in action. I actually followed through with what I learned and saw progress. Whilst I had such a good progress last year, the end of the year hit and that means summer in Australia and I started drinking and eating and I just didn't maintain the balance that I'd created. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit real. Part of me was nervous about doing 75 hard again. More so because I'm telling the world that I didn't finish 75 hard and continue to lose even more weight. But then I remembered I'm not alone. So many of us have ups and downs and that doesn't mean we just stop and give up. The fun part should be the trial and error, figuring out what works and what we can maintain. So if you're thinking, why are you doing it again? The answer is I want to keep trying. I want to find balance. But first, I want the consistency. And I want the confidence boost, and I'm so excited to see the changes. I personally love watching these series, and I hope I can inspire you to find a healthy lifestyle and never be ashamed to continue trying and not giving up. Okay, now that you know a little bit about why I'm doing 75 hard, let's get into the rules, how I'm approaching them, and my mindset around each rule. Little side note, last night I started watching the Blue Zone series on Netflix. If you haven't seen it, please go watch it. It really helps you take a step back and realize what is important when approaching a healthy life and how being healthy is more than just the way we look, the amount of protein we consume, or calories in versus calories out. I started watching the Blue Zone series and it made me think, why am I bothering with 75 hard? Life isn't about these rules and restrictions. There are places out there that are living longer and happier lives. If you're not sure what a blue zone is, they are regions in the world where people are claimed to live longer than the average. We're talking about a lot of hundred year olds. <laughs> they're living longer but having full lives and they're not relying on a diet program or heavy doses of medicine to get them through. The Netflix video explains how they all have similar elements that make up this fulfilled life or this longer life than average. The first one being eating wisely, and that means eating in moderation and having a balance, not saying you can't have carbs or you've got to consume more protein, really having balance. And also, most of them drank wine. They loved it. <laughs> the second one being connection, family first, partnerships, and having the right friendship circle. The third one being moving naturally. All of them had, had a garden. And they walked everywhere. They did so much walking. They were doing all this activity without even trying. So they didn't need gym memberships because they were just moving their body. So it's about moving your body just naturally. <laughs> and lastly, their outlook on life. They're able to unwind and de-stress. 
they all have faith and they have a purpose in life. So again, it did get me thinking, why am I doing 75 hard? I want to live a full and vibrant life. Why don't I just use the blueprint of the blue zones that are laid right out in front of me? Okay, so I thought to myself, I'll use 75 hard as my catalyst, so, sort of like my kickstart. And from there, I'll be focusing on just maintaining a lifestyle. No more short-term challenges. I'll be looking at tweaking my habits to ensure that I'm able to live a more fulfilled life with exercise and food only being a part of that puzzle, not the whole puzzle. Hi guys, I thought I would just jump on here now and run you through the rules and how I'm tweaking them just a little bit, just so I can make sure that I can have a balanced lifestyle following 75 hard. So the first one, the normal rule is one gallon of water, which usually equals about 3.8 liters. I really struggled with this one in the last challenge. I still did it, but I did really struggle with it. And I have read many articles since and seen many TikToks about how we can drown our own bodies. And I've decided I don't want to drown my body. So I will be doing three liters of water a day as my minimum. If I do drink more bonus, but I don't have to. This will allow me to have my coffee in the morning and I still be able to have a Diet Coke a day. Um, my next one, well, the next rule, follow a diet. I've decided that I want to have more of a balanced diet, have a strict calorie intake that I don't want to exceed. And I also want to do no takeaway at all. That means even if it's healthy, it's still a no-go. And I will admit, day one, I woke up to a text from my dad being like, hey Soph, sausage and egg McMuffin from Macca's downstairs for you. And I was like, can't have it. And then dinner rolled around and he was like, hey so we're gonna get Little Italy and my favorite prawn soup, which is healthy, is from there and I still had to say no. So tested me on day one and I made it through. But yeah, moral of the story, no takeaway at all. No cheat meals. I'm gonna keep this. However, how I see this is that, um, how I'm taking this, again, I'm having no takeaway, but say I fancy a burger or pizza or pasta, that's okay. As long as I'm cooking it, then I'm, and I can fit it in my calories, then I'm allowed to eat it. Also no sweet treats. So I'm going to have no chocolate throughout this time, unless it's, you know, chocolate in protein powder or something like that, which is going to be a real big test for me. Um, I will also say that if my friends are going out for dinner, I'm not gonna stay at home and not eat. I will join them for dinner and I will just choose a healthier option. Cause like I said, Blue Zone said that connections is key and I'm not hiding away from my friends for the next 75 days. I hope they're okay with that. <laughs> um, again, next one is no alcohol. I have decided to tweak this a little bit and I'm going to give myself four golden tickets across the 75 days. I have my cousin's wedding, um, I have my brother and sister's birthday and also want to celebrate the half marathon that I'll be doing. So I want to allow myself to have a celebratory drink without feeling completely restricted. Again, we're looking for balance following 75 hard. I don't want to do what I did the last time round where I'm one extreme to the other. I really want to, while it may be a little bit more extreme at the start, I want to be able to um, have more balance following that. The next one, a non-fiction book, read 10 pages a day. I'm going to keep that one um, as is. I really did enjoy it last time. I think it's fine. This time, my first book will be called The Beauty Myth, which is all about beauty standards for women. Um, I'm really excited to read that and I promise I'll give you a review. I'm thinking maybe like a self-care night video and review that book for you. I think that could be really fun. Take a progress picture every day. We're gonna keep that one as is because it's awesome to see how your body changes at the end. And two 45 minute workouts. However, one of them has to be outside. I have altered this just a little bit to say it just has to be two 45 minute workouts. Um, and say I can't get outside, I'm okay to go jump on the treadmill. I find sometimes the treadmill walk just it gets me a little bit more sweatier and I really enjoy it in saying that I loved the outside walks too. So I am really going to try and get as many outside walks in as I possibly can and runs and Pilates. So I'm really, really excited for that. 
So I guess that's a little bit about the rules that I'm following and the slight adjustments that I've made to them. Um, very, very excited to jump into it. I'm actually on day three, which is so exciting. And today I went and got my body scan, which was so confronting. I'm not going to tell you what I currently weigh on my body fat. I think I'll wait to the end and then I'll be able to give you the whole before and afters because for me, I don't know, I was like, ah, <laughs> when I saw it today, but yeah, it just makes, motivates me to keep going. Um, and yeah, make sure I can ace this challenge. I think my body scan today really reminded me or really showed me that the crash dieting or going really, really hard for a specific time, it's just not sustainable and you'll end up gaining weight. It's really about, okay, if you're going to do a crash diet, then how do you still maintain it following and don't burn yourself out? Um, and I hope that I can, yeah, like I said, inspire you to, to do something similar. But yeah, I'm excited for you to come along for the journey. I'm excited to see the difference and let's get into it. Oh, also what I'll be trying to do, I'll do a mixture of shorts throughout the week, but I'm also looking at doing a weekend vlog. So releasing some sort of video about 75 hard, giving you updates um, every week and we'll go from there. Yay.